the African continent is undergoing massive geological change. Before we get into the details of it, let me tell you a few things about the African continent. Africa is the second largest continent on earth, covering an area of about 30.2 million square kilometers. There are 54 recognized countries in Africa, making it the only continent with so many countries. The Sahara Desert, located in northern Africa, is the largest hot desert in the world, covering an area of about 3.6 million square miles. The Nile River, which flows through Egypt and several other African countries, is the longest river in the world, with a length of about 6,650 kilometers. Africa is home to the largest land mammal, the African elephant, and the fastest land mammal, the cheetah. Mount Kilimanjaro, located in Tanzania, is the highest mountain in Africa and the highest freestanding mountain in the world with a height of 5,895 meters. The Great Rift Valley, located in Eastern Africa, which runs through several African countries, is the largest geological formation on Earth and is home to many unique plant and animal species. Africa has a rich cultural heritage with over 3,000 distinct ethnic groups and more than 2,000 languages spoken. The continent has a rapidly growing population with over 1.2 billion people living in Africa, making it the second most populous continent after Asia. Africa is also blessed with many natural resources including oil, gas, diamonds and gold. Now let's try to look at the place where Africa is splitting. Africa is splitting near the eastern side, from the Red Sea in the north to Zimbabwe in the south, with a total length of around 6000 kilometers. If you look at this region, this is called the Eastern African Rift. The reason this term has been used is because at this place you will find an active continental rift zone. Even through this map you can see that there are a lot of water bodies in this region. These are all lakes. If you have watched my video on geography terms, in that I have explained how lakes are formed. Natural lake basins are formed when there is a depression in the land that gets filled with water. This land depression can happen due to many reasons like the flowing of a river, the moving of glaciers, volcanic eruptions, then there is an artificial lake where humans dig up land or create dams, and then there is another way that is through tectonic activity. Whenever there is any movement in the earth's crust, then naturally you will see earthquakes and landslides which causes soil displacement. And that in a way creates land depression where water accumulates. So tectonic activity is also a major reason behind the formation of natural lakes. Now if you look at the tectonic plates of earth, here if you look at the African plate, you will see a minor plate on the eastern side of Africa known as the Somali plate. The western edge of the Somali plate perfectly passes through the region where you will find all these lakes. It is believed that the formation of the Somali plate began in the late Jurassic period, around 160 million years ago, when the supercontinent of Gondwana began to break up. As Gondwana broke apart, a series of rift valley developed in the region that would eventually become Eastern Africa. Over time, these rift valleys widened and deepened and new oceanic crust began to form. So it is the Somali plate that is moving away from the bigger African plate. In geology, this is called continental rifting. This process occurs when the tectonic plates beneath the Earth's surface move apart. It is also called a divergent boundary when two tectonic plates move away from each other. Now this geological process is very slow and it occurs over millions of years. That means these changes are not noticeable in human time scales. But eventually when tectonic plates move away from each other, the earth's crust starts to get thin. On the surface level you will get to see a long rift valley, basically a land depression that extends for thousands of kilometers. As a result, this land depression accumulates water and turns into a lake. And in the end, when two continental crust fully breaks apart, that will eventually give rise to a new ocean basin. This is exactly what is happening in the eastern part of the African continent. Now graphically if I have to show you, what will happen is eventually this Somali plate is going to break away from the main African plate. In between the ocean water is going to fill up and this will turn into a sea. One more thing that I want to tell you is that any tectonic plate boundary, whether it is a divergent plate boundary or a convergent plate boundary, you will find active volcanoes. And if you look at the eastern side of the African continent, you will find many active as well as dormant volcanoes. So this is the whole story behind the splitting of the African continent and the possibility of forming a new ocean. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.